Welcome to Can-Am RV, and this is Grand Designs Solitude 310. 310 is our most popular high-end fifth wheel. Comes with a lot of great features on it. It has dual power awnings on it, flush mounted windows, big insulated compartments with a central vac system, motion lights. When you open the compartment, they'll kick on. Power rear cord and a kill switch for your battery system. The compartments also have dual handled slam latches on it for a good tight seal on those insulated compartments. Big storage in the front as well. It also features a more ride pin box, which really helps smooth out the ride and keeps that bucking sensation when you're towing down the road. The slide outs all have awning toppers on them to help ease use and not get stuff stuck up on the top of it. The front cap has beautiful aerodynamics and also has recessed lighting in there just to make it easier to see at night. One of the other unique features is the side compartments on it. One flips up so that it's easy to access and you don't have to duck under it trying to get into the compartment and the other one hinges out to the side. This makes accessing the compartment much, much easier. You also have your, your automatic hydraulic leveling system in here. It's got a six point system on it. It also has the power cord reel there, which is uh, real makes winding up that 50 amp cord a lot easier. And then it has your control center with all your water filters, black tank flush, fresh water hookup, and you can even fill your fresh water tank from there. All your valves are enclosed and insulated and all your low point drains are there and easily accessible. It has a nice light for seeing at night, outdoor shower, all your cable and satellite connections are in there. It even gives you a 110 plug there as well to make it nice and easy to access power on that side. One of the great things that Solitude does is they put the water heater, which is oversized, and the furnace on the roadside so that it doesn't blow out onto your awning where you're sitting at the night. This also features a six point hydraulic leveling system. Inside is where the 310 really shines through. You'll notice that there's a French door side by side residential style fridge in it. Massive windows, big island, lots of seating with a theater seating and a sofa, a beautiful dinette that's freestanding with upholstered chairs, and it has the extension on it. So if you want to have a big dinner party or play cards, you got lots of room around it. The theater seatings have these removable little tables on it so that you can put them out of your way, or you can use them to set a laptop down and uh, have it for your evening while you're watching uh, the TV. Again, big, big windows all around. The seats are heated and they have the vibration on them and they also extend as well. There's a beautiful large sofa across the back and it makes into a bed, as well as there's lots of storage in the overhead cabinets above it. Very elegant, big windows on each side provide ventilation, and there's also a USB and 110 outlet on each side so that you can plug in your phone if you're sitting there. On the other side is a fireplace and TV. Fireplace has many different controls on it, so you can control the different lighting aspects to make it suit whatever mood you're in. The TV will come up and it's recessed in behind. And then it stores back out of the way when you don't want to watch it. This allows you to still get access with the bright windows behind it.
above there's a big cupboard and your stereo systems there it's a higher end stereo system all done by remote and there's inputs there as well cover beside provides connections so if you want to hook up a satellite dish or dvd player you could the glass doors allow the remote to work through it so very easy to get at very easy to access in the galley you see you have a large four burner stove which you don't see much in in rvs and it's a sealed top so it makes cleaning much much easier large residential sized oven in it as well Now you have room for that Thanksgiving turkey if you want, or even just a pizza. Above you have a large space saver microwave. It has built-in range fans so that you can still exhaust the fumes from your stove, and it vents right to the outside. Below the microwave and behind the stove, you'll notice a nice backsplash with a stainless steel protector. And a great feature is a large window there as well. Below the counter, there's a dual garbage cans, one for your recycling and one for your everyday waste. Not very often do you find this in an RV. When we talk about storage, we talk about usable storage. Having drawers that pull out in your cabinets, just like in your home, is vitally important to making the most use of it. Even little things like spice racks, tons of drawers in the island as well. Big places for pots and pans. All these things that you would want in a galley you have in the Solitude 310. You'll notice that you have full drawer slides on it, so the drawers extend all the way out, and they have the metal heavy-duty drawer glides on them. You'll notice that the island is finished off beautifully. Along with all those drawers, you have a nice solid surface countertops, full sink covers. It's got residential-style faucet with the sprayer on it, and uh, it even is prepped in there for a dishwasher if you decide you want a dishwasher. In your unit. You'll notice some of the great details on this. Look how well the island's finished off. Nice little details. The other feature is it's got another little work area over here. And a great place for a bar or extra glasses, things like that. And then you have a large pantry. This pantry is amazing for storing foods for those long trips when you're going away. Lots of solid shelves in it. Just do a quick overview of the main living area. Notice nice work lights over the island. Again, this will give you a little bit better feel for the expansiveness of the interior. Remember, this is only a 310 solitude, so it's not a huge RV that you can't go traveling with and get into most sites. It's an awesome looking unit. Um, I hope you can come out and enjoy it. The controls for the Climate Control Center are very easy to reach. Your Max Air Fan, it's all remote. Just push a button and it'll turn on. You can adjust the temperature setting for it. Now let's take a look at the refrigerator. Again, that's a French door refrigerator, massive side-by-side -side residential unit. So it cools a lot quicker, gives you a lot more cubic space of uh, usability. It does run off of an uh, inverter. So even if you are dry camping, you don't need to be plugged into shore power to run it. And it's got a lot of big, big storage in it. Nice and accessible, just like you find at home. Just inside the door, you'll find your control panel for running all your lights, uh, slide rooms. It gives you uh, 
the easy control that you can actually uh, get an app for on your phone as well. You can control almost everything in the unit right from this panel. Nice and easy to access. Now let's head up on into the bedroom. You'll see that there's tons and tons of space in here. Built-in TV, large closet, they call it a walk-in closet in the front. You have a full 60 by 80 queen size bed. There is a king option available. Lots of windows in the glide room, which are nice to have ventilation at night if you just want to have a window open. And this closet also has a prep for a washer dryer if you prefer. There's a nice dresser with full drawer slides there. Again, a nice big window with an emergency exit. The bedroom TV is nice in that it's angled down towards the bed and it's a decent size to be able to view at night. And you can see there's blackout shades in the bedroom as well, so if you want to sleep in, you can. We're going to take a look in the closet here. This is all prepped for a washer dryer if you want, or you can just use it as a regular closet. Quite large and that uh, gives you lots of space. Now let's take a look in the main closet. Notice it's huge. It's got great shelves in it for packing all your sweaters and t-shirts and things like that plus a hanging spot. It also has a nice little spot down on the bottom for storing your shoes in. And it's uh, all lit up so that you can see nice and easily inside. There's even a top shelf that will allow you to uh, store things up there as well. There are a few little other features in the bedroom. There's 110 outlets and USB plugs on each side of the bed. Plus, it has its own separate air conditioning right in the bedroom, so you can control it independently of the other one. Now, let's go over and head into the bathroom. The 310 has a side aisle bath, which is awesome. It does give you a lot more privacy, makes the bedroom area a lot quieter when you're trying to sleep in and you might have guests down on the main level. This has all the high-end finishes, solid surface countertops with recessed sinks, new uh, fountain style faucets in it that you find kind of all in the modern conveniences there. Big glass shower. The nice thing on this is it has a rain shower head on it, plus body jets. It's not too often you find a shower with body jets in an RV. It's really, really cool. Beautiful enclosure all the way around it, and it also has a skylight. There's uh, lots of storage in there, place for your towels, and even hooks to put your towels up if they're a little damp. It also features a nice high-end, higher-profile pedal flush toilet on it. This toilet makes it... Uh, a lot easier to use, a lot easier to keep clean, and is just a overall much better experience. Lots of drawers in the, in, or lots of cupboards in the bathroom, and you also have a nice medicine cabinet with a mirror and storage in behind it as well. Well, that concludes our tour of the Solitude 310 by Grand Design. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I wasn't too wordy. We only touched on just a few of its features, so come on out and see it for yourself, and you can experience all the great things that Grand Design offers. We're Can-Am RV in London, Ontario, about a two-hour drive from Toronto. Come visit us, and we'll be happy to show you around. We have lots to look at, and uh, you can always find us on the web at canamrv.ca, or you can phone us at 866-226-2678. Thanks again for visiting, and we do really appreciate you taking the time to explore this unit with us. Take care.